everybody, it's Kristen and it's time for another Four Looks One palette. I decided that this time I'm kind of trying them different ways. I didn't really see much difference in the views when I did the demos versus when I didn't do the demos and you guys were kind of half and half. Some really didn't like it, some did. So this time what I'm going to do is show you the eye look that I, I mean, the, the old way so to speak, but I'll make sure to show you the brushes that I use to apply and we'll see how you guys like that. I don't know, we'll just keep playing around with this. And you know, well anyway, we'll just keep playing around with it. So uh, again, this is the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's been out forever. A very sweet subscriber actually sent this to me, so thank you again, I've talked about that before, but those are what the shades look like. So if you are new to Four Looks One palette, I have done many, many of these. I think this is 40 something. Uh, I know it's 40 something. I don't know what though. Uh, and it's where I take a palette. I use it for four days and create four different looks and then come to you and show you the looks and I do a review of the palette at the end. All right. So let us go ahead and get started. Uh, I used today, I had to think about that for a minute. I used antique bronze all over my lid. I used the shade in warm taupe in my crease. And then I deepened things up with cypress umber right here. And on, so for the brushes, I used a MAC 239, which is obviously dirty because I used it, Day. Uh, to apply on my lid. And I used my Tom Ford crease brush in the crease. And then I used a MAC 217 for that Cypress Umber shade to kind of stamp that and then blend that out. I did take Cypress Umber beneath my lower lash line as well, and I used a Tom Ford pencil brush. Again, these are just what I use, not what you need to use. You can use any sort of brush that looks similar. And then I added a little bit of Red Ochre, which is this shade right here, just on the outer edge of my crease right there, and I used the Sigma E36 for that brush. For, for that shade. So I think that is everything. Let me go ahead and zoom you in. Okay, so here's the look. On the rest of my face today for, oh, and I wanted to say I didn't use any liner, as you could tell. I just wanted to kind of let my lashes be a little bit longer, and so I, all I did was tight line with the Sephora Queen of the Nile liner. For blush, I used the uh, Tarte, I think about that, in a party. I just love this blush. I cannot stop with it. I did use a little bit of highlight today. Everybody's been talking about that new Anastasia kit, which I don't need. So I went, I pulled out this one, which is the one in Gleam, and I used the shade in Crush Pearl. So that's the little bit of sheen that you are seeing there. And then on my lips, I used the Dose of Color, and this is the one in Stone. All right, here's my second look. Today, what I started with was burnt orange right here, and I put that in my crease first with a, this is the Beauty Junkie Pro Tapered um, Blending Brush. And then I went with a little bit smaller a brush. This is a MAC 226. I think there's a Sigma version of that as well. And I went in Realgar. No idea. That orange one right there, and deepened things I used Primavera. I think it's how you say that right here. And I put that on my lid. I did that with a MAC 239 brush. And then beneath my lower lash line, I used just kind of a combination of that burnt orange and that real gar. So again, that burnt orange and the real gar. And I used one of my favorite brushes for doing my lower lash line. It's the Sephora Pro Shader number 18. I don't know if it's still around anymore, but I laid down the burnt orange first and then I went with that real gar over the top of that. I think that's actually everything except that I did take a little bit of tempera, tempera right here on my brow bone and then just kind of on the edges to kind of clean things up a little bit. I think that is everything. So let me go ahead and zoom you okay, in. So here's the look. My normal instinct would be to have deepened things up even more with that Cypress Umber, but because I used, used it yesterday, I was trying not to use it. I did add a little bit of liner. This is the, or the uh, Makeup Forever Waterproof Liner in 2L. I used that on... Can I talk today? I used that on my upper lash line and, and on my upper water line. For blush today, I pulled out an, another oldie but a goodie. This is uh, the MAC in Mineralized Blush in Warm Soul. And then lastly, on my lips today, I have the Chanel Le, Le Rouge Crayon, whatever, this new Chanel thing, <laughs> and Rose Violine. All right, for my third look today, and I have to say, you guys, I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear, but this is the first day that I've heard birds. It's almost spring. Okay, so 
for the third look today, I did kind of a halo eye and I used Venetian red on my inner third and my outer third. And then I took Vermeer right here on my middle third. I connected that um, Venetian red in my crease as well. And then just on the edge of the crease, I used a little bit of this blonde fresco, which is kind of, it's kind of an odd shade in there. I don't know. Anyway, I used that just on the edge just to kind of help blend things. And then I also used this temper tempera underneath my brow bone, and then I really blended that on the inner corner so that there wasn't a real stark line with that Venetian red. And just to give it a nice... <laughs> This is my way of saying sort of, you know, like a blend, like a, you know, I just didn't want it to be really harsh there. And with a kind of, any dark color can be really harsh there. So I use, and I will show you the brushes that I used. Uh, for the, for my lid, I used this, uh, this is a Sony Kashuk, number 206, I believe. And I used that for both of the red and then the, I can't remember what that middle shade was. Vermeer. <laughs> and then I took a MAC 217. And I, when I connected them above and I, I really blended that out with this brush right here, I used the Zoeva 228 on that sort of mauve purpley shade, this one right here, on the edge of the crease. And then I used a little, um, it's like a MAC 217, it's a Sigma, I don't even know, this is so old, it says SS 217, that's how long that's been around. Uh, and I think that's everything aside from, I used a black shadow out of the Sonia Kashuk Eye Neutral Palette. And, a, and an angled brush just to get some black along my upper lash line. I wanted it to be a little thinner than it ended up, but what are you gonna do? And then I used the Sephora Queen of the Nile on my upper waterline. I took a pencil brush and I just ran that blonde fresco right here beneath my lower lash line just to give it a little bit of dimension. And I think that's everything, so let me zoom you in. So here's the look. On the rest of my face, and, and excuse my hair, it was just a rough hair day. Just, I was leaving it naturally curly and it just didn't do what I wanted it to do. <laughs> I have the Smashbox. I don't even know if this exists anymore. Uh, it's the Blush, Rush, and Flush. I have a feeling it probably doesn't. I love this. I'm pretty sure I bought this because of makeup by Tiffany D. Anybody else? And then on my lips, I used both the lip liner and the lippy stick in Lumiere from ColourPop. And then over the top of that for some added shine and just to bright, lighten it up a little bit because it was kind of, it was a little bit tricky to find a lip color I liked with this. Anyway, I used the Buxom White Russian. All right, for my fourth look, I did a smoky eye and obviously, and what I did first was I took this Beauty Junkie Pro Tapered Brush and this really is my favorite of the brushes like this, the way it's cut and how it works. Anyway, so I took, is this golden ochre? Yes, golden ochre, and I laid that down in the crease first. Then I took this Smith Cosmetics brush. It's a number 230, so it's smaller, more pointed, has a little more stiffness to it, and I used uh, raw sienna, and I did that just a little bit, you know, lower down and just onto my lid a little bit. And then I took another, actually, another Smith Cosmetic brushes. I, I like this one because it's it's smaller, so when you want a more precise application on your lid, it works well. This is the shade in number, or the brush in number 253, so just so you can kind of see the shape of the brush there. And I took Cypress Umber, and I put that on my lid. And then I went back in, again, with this brush, so your kind of smaller crease brush, into that raw sienna and really, you know, blended out that line and just made sure there was no, you know, harsh edges or anything. I used this same brush right here, took um, Cypress Umber beneath my lower lash line, right on the very tip of it, and then I used, I wiped it off and used the same brush to apply some raw sienna below that as well, just kind of, <laughs> again with this, soften it out and that sort of thing. Uh, and I took a little bit of tempura again on my upper raw bone and on the inner corner. And I think that's everything except I did use, um, I don't have any liner on my upper lash line, but I lined my upper water line and lower la water line with engraved by MAC. I think that's everything. So let me zoom you in. Okay, so here's the look. For blush today, I used Wet n Wild's Rose Champagne. I think that's what it's called, right? Yes, <laughs> Rose Champagne. And then on my lips, I used the Too Faced Melted in Chihuahua. I really like this one. It's the only one I have. I had a couple others that I ended up giving away or returning. I don't even remember. Um, but I really like this one. 
So thank you, Lorna, because I think this came from Lorna. All right, so let's get into some swatches. Here are the first four, Tempera, Golden Ochre, Vermeer, and Buon Fresco, if I'm saying those properly. So Tempera, Golden Ochre, Vermeer, and Buon Fresco. And then this is Antique Bronze, Love Letter, and Cypress Umber. So Antique Bronze, Love Letter, and Cypress Umber. Then this is Raw Sienna, Burnt Orange, Primavera, and Red Ochre. Raw Sienna right there. Burnt Orange, Primavera, and Red Ochre. Venetian Red, Warm Taupe, and Real Gar. So Venetian Red, Warm Taupe, and Real Gar. All right, so move on. Let's move on to review. I do. I love these shadows. I love. I'm wiping this off now, in case you're wondering. The, those brows will kind of stain a little bit, um, which isn't a bad thing, as far as staying power. So, okay. So let's talk about that first. Staying power of these, really, really good. They definitely last a full for me. You know, 12, 13 hour day. I don't see any creasing, and that, that truly is not. It doesn't matter what primer you use. That's, you can't, that same can't be said for every shadow that it will last that long. So, really pleased with the longevity of these, pleased with how they blend. Um, I, I, I don't really have any complaints. Now, having said that, um, I like this palette. I like it a lot. Again, let me just give, but, I mean, if you don't like those kind of shades, I mean, I had to, I had to really kind of push myself a little bit to not have something that, Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully they didn't all look the same because, you know, the shades are very, very similar in there. You know, I kind of stand by the fact that this Bon Fresco just seems odd to me in there. I love the shade, it's beautiful, but I don't know, it just seems a little bit odd to me. Some of my favorites are Warm Taupe and Real Gar, not because it's <laughs> taupe in the name, but because just the way they perform, they're, they're just really amazing. So while I, I very much like the shimmers and the metallics from Anastasia, I think their mattes are just beautiful and blend so well. I felt the same way about the Makeup by Mario or Mario, whatever that other palette is. I still use that one all the time. I love that palette um, and I, you know, I enjoy this. I just don't see me reaching for this as much as I reach for that one because, I mean, you have to, I am a little bit confused. I have to say, well, how, why and I don't mean this in a, a negative way at all. I'm just not confused. I'm surprised. Surprise is a better word. How many people love this? Like, love this? Because these shades, like this Red Ochre and Venetian Red Love Letter, those are not easy shades to wear, really, and to pull off without making your... You know, sometimes you have to be very careful so that you don't make yourself look sick when you're wearing kind of pinks and reds and that sort of thing. So, I don't know. Those are just my... Th so just, I just kind of like went off on a tangent there. I wasn't really um, planning on going into that, but so I, I like this. I'm very thankful for it. Thank you again to the subscriber that sent it to me. Um, I had gone back and forth on purchasing it and she was like, you need this. So <laughs> uh, I just, I don't know. I, I like it. I just don't know if it's one I would put back in my collection if it was taken away. And so I'm curious, you know, if we can have a nice thoughtful, respectful conversation maybe in the comments about it. Why do you love this if you do? If you don't, did you look at it and think, no, it's not for me? I, I just am curious kind of your thoughts on it. I really, I, I enjoy hearing what you guys have to think on products and not just listening to what I have to think on products. So, all right, having said all of that, let's go. Oh, and I'm sorry, it sells for $42. You can get it Ulta, Sephora, right on Anastasia's website. There are a few other places as well. So um, I hope that you guys enjoyed the way that I did this, showing you the brushes and talking about placement. Um, I just, I just didn't feel like, like I said earlier, that the, um, I know that some of you liked it and some of you really didn't like when I cut to the demo. So let's just see how this goes. All right. On the rest of my face throughout the video, I was wearing the Dior Star Foundation in 10 and 20 mixed half and half for powder foundation. Look at this, you guys. This is the Pure Minerals 4-in-1 uh, in the shade Light, so I'm just about done with that. For bronzer, I am working my way through currently this uh, Burberry, it's called Sheer Summer Glow, and I'm really focusing more kind of on those three, but that's what I used. 
And, oh, concealer. I had the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. To double check myself there. For mascara, I've kind of kind of had a combination going on. For most of the days, I had the Clinique Lash Power on my lower lash. And I think maybe the first day I didn't have that. So, um, And then on my lashes, I have a combination of these two mascaras. So this one is one I really like, the Lancome Hypnose Drama. But it tends to get a little clumpy. So this one, I don't love by itself at all. This is the NARS, NARS Audacious Mascara. I had to look at the bottom. Um, it just, let's just take a second here. It has this really spiky one. It does do good things for separating and just separating. It doesn't really even add length. So I kind of use this after the other one and we'll be done with that one soon. For brows, aside from the first day, I, the first day I was using the Maybelline Define Brow and then I used it up. So the rest of the days I was using the ColourPop. This is in taupe, I believe. In dope taupe. Who doesn't like to say dope taupe? All right, so that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching, and in everything that you do, be beautiful. Bye!